Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, another part of the Asylum Challenge. My name is Chloe and this is Cozy Pixels. And here we are back at our lovely asylum, I guess, with our little sim shrink and our seven residents. In the last episode, we had quite a few need failures, but I do think in general we are doing quite good. My main goal is to not kill anyone or Lovely Sim Shrink works as a security guard now, which is amazing. Okay, let's make some friends. Let's appreciate our lovely Mrs. Crumple Button. I wonder how well the residents get on. I think these two are kind of getting on well. They are friendly, I like it. I am really curious to see kind of how the relationships will play out. We are gaining some fame. I don't dare to flirt with Mrs. Crumplebottom. But also, we will have deaths probably because Wyatt and Agnes are elders. So they will probably die before the Sim Shrink dies, or before he reaches the aspiration thing, which is become a teacher. Serve some salad, we want them to be healthy. At least physically, if they have some mental health issues. Okay! It, it, it seems that... Pedro is getting along... Getting along? Is that the right word? Getting along well with the others. Also, unsavory charlatan cheats in rock, paper, scissors. I don't know how can you cheat in rock, paper, scissors, but let's just pretend that he does, okay? Also, I was thinking actually about developing kind of my own rule set, and I don't know, what do you guys think? Like, I want to add some steps of achievements into the challenge so it doesn't get stale after a while. I guess it will be kind of a challenge alone to not let anyone die, but I don't know. Or do you think like, for example, what I said that if you reach a certain level of uh, career, you get one bed or, some, or one toilet or something like that. I think that would be nice. Give a little spice to the challenge or like a feeling of achievement. But I also don't want it to be too easy. So I don't know what do you think. Like buying a table so they can sit down and eat and stuff like that. They are gossiping about the unsavory shy. He's naked. Yeah, gain those cooking skills. I don't want no fire here. <laughs> because that will be horrendous. Okay, we are getting close to an aspiration failure there, I think. Okay, uh, everyone is green, which is surprisingly good so far, but we are only six minutes into the recording, so we will see how that goes later on in the episode. I think it's during the night time when things get rough, when there are no belts for all of the sims, but so far so good. By monitoring the surveillance camera, Sim spots someone under the elevator with a computer. He's sure that he's never seen them before, but isn't sure what to do. Should he call the police or confront the suspicious character? Confront. <gasps> oh no! As Sim waits for the elevator to reach the parking level, he recalls a news report about a string of late-night business robberies. The doors open and the Sim shrink confronts the suspicious woman Asking to see her company ID card, the woman makes as if to reach for her wallet, but knowing better than to let a criminal reach into her coat, Sim Shrink tackles her to the ground. The computer is smashed to bits and the woman turns out to be a company employee. Ah, Sim Shrink is forced to pay 349 to replace the computer. We have zero money. Sim Shrink has been promoted to cut it level 2. Okay! We have some nice money now, so we can pay the bills. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Pedro and Agnes are not getting along. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What's going on here? I hope you guys don't become enemies and won't argue all the time. Oh, no. Agnes. What are you doing? What happened? Oh my god! What happened with these guys? Was it because of the thunder? Why did this happen? 
Yeah, I realized we are not going to see the real Steam Shrink because we can't switch control to them. But I kind of want... Okay, I'm just gonna do it for the thumbnail. Oh god. What happened to these guys? I can't see roaches, so... I don't think it was roaches. Oh! <laughs> She's not feeling good. Poor Ellen. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I've never seen Sim sleep like this. Also, I just realized that this has English letters, which really bothers me. Why didn't you pee instead of playing with your little Wilson? Okay, Saiba is making some spaghetti. Hopefully, he makes one plate for everyone. Yes! What a good person. Wait, I'm not even hungry. <laughs> Pedro watching football. Oh my god. We are entering Uncanny Valley. Man, I kind of shipped these two. They are cute. That was not a nice move. Poor Saiba. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. Oh, Saiba's one true hobby is film and literature. Man. Uncanny. Like he told me that the sim is like so la so much like him that it creeps him out and now it starts to creep me out as well. Did he just... I think he just cooked another one? <gasps> oh, okay. They were just chatting. I, I was afraid that he got the mental breakdown again. <gasps> Agnes! <gasps> Behave yourself! She got her purse taken away when she got in the asylum, but like, it looks like it doesn't hold her back. Oh my god, look at her, like, oh. Did he try to flirt with her? I think these guys are gonna fight constantly, like, fist fight. Oh my god, she's on it again. She has no chill. What are you doing, Han? What are you doing? Damn, it's 7 a.m. Why are you doing this? <laughs> she's getting a bad, bad reputation. Why was this past two sentences so filled with Taylor Swift references? My brain sometimes just does that. Okay, but now... Stop the slapping! I want some real fights! Where is uh, Pedro and Annabelle? Oh, they are sleeping, okay. This is abuse! Can I do something to stop this? <laughs> I guess I can't. Agnes, chill! Chill chill out, girl! Chill out! This is exactly why you are here and we'll never get out. Oh my god, stop! Oh my god. Will they ever stop this? Thank you, Wyatt, for stepping in. This is, like, one of your first good idea. Oh my god. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh my god, I wonder who will win. I think Agnes will win, to be honest. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is going to be a nightmare. Can I influence her to... <gasps> Oh my god! Oh no, they're enemies. Can I influence one of them to apologize to the other or like be friendly? I will have to fix this. Oh my god, maybe I can make them watch TV together. It's surprising to me that Agnes didn't go into an aspiration failure by having an enemy because she's a family sim, apparently. <laughs> okay, little light-hearted pillow fight. That's what I like. Oh no. He's approaching. Oh no, it starts again. Oh my god. <laughs> it's really weird because the themes that are based either on one of you or are sent in by you, they behave so nice. But these NPCs, they are like primates. They are making hell. <laughs> Cyber and out of the room. Oh my god, this is gonna be painful. Wait, maybe now that he's here, we can 
actually influence? Let's see. This is not talking, but... What happened? What does this mean? Our local jewelry makes the perfect souvenir. Why is everyone out in the rain and why are you in your underwear? Everyone is so hungry because I didn't know that there was no food left. <laughs> He's bagging on the streets. I'm really afraid that someone's gonna die because of starvation. I feel like Naiba's specialty is spaghetti. I don't, I don't know, they are kind of sweet, like having a little dinner together here in the kitchen. So Ansavory and Pedro became best friends. Which is nice. I think Pedro has two best friends now. He's doing quite good, to be honest. Oh no! <laughs> he passed out in the same place as before. Why are they always passing out in the bathroom? Pedro is doing really good. He just had two of his once fulfilled. I wonder what they were. Are you really peeing yourself in front of the toilet? Oh my god. He's so dense. If you are so dense, then you deserve it. I'm sorry. Man, these two are worse than... Ah. Oh. Then dang, Angela and Lily. Wyatt? Wyatt is doing pretty bad. Oh, she's cheering Wyatt up. Oh my god, she's so sweet. And I've cheered Helen up as well. She's the sweetest. Pearson, but like, it's... Uh, Ellen's aspiration is knowledge, so like, I'm probably pretty sure that she has the want of gaining a skill. Why isn't she just reading a book or something? Or like, doing this or this? Do I have to scrap the painting first before another person can claim it? Let the poor girl shower. Yes. Get out. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I love how she looked at me. Oh, this poor bastard. Okay, now I think we are back on track. <laughs> Pedro has a midlife crisis. Nine days. Oh my god. Fulfill his wants to resolve the crisis. <laughs> I can't. I don't know what they are. Can I ask him about his wants actually? Wait. <laughs> my boys are entering midlife crisis at the same time. Cyber's midlife crisis will approximately last 11 days. Oh god. Sick with food poisoning? No! Why did you eat that? Everyone is having a midlife crisis. Amazing. I guess because all of their aspirations are very low. Yay, Cyber and Daniel are best friends. <laughs> Booyah! This week was amazing. Wow, this girl is living her best life in here. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> the others... I like how every time he's here, Pedro is here as well, like giving emotional support to him. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh, that didn't work out. We know who her heart belongs, it seems. But like, do they initiate romantic actions on their own? Because I kind of want to, you know, have cute couples in here. Okay, he's not having it today. Cyber had a so so week. That's good. At least it wasn't terrible. Yay! Uh, my controllable sim had a so so week, so I I think that puts uh, cyber so so week into a whole other perspective. This past week has been terrible. I only hope I can break out of this rut. I don't think you can, because you keep picking fights with the unsavory Charlotte. Okay, Annabelle's midlife crisis at least only lasts for five days. They are on it again. Annabelle, do something. Not irritate, influence, where is it? Influence to appreciate Agnes, because probably he will apologize. Are you an idiot? Why do you even have that interaction? Oh my god. This backfired on me. Oh, my poor, poor Cyber. He still has the food poisoning. You guys should sleep. Wyatt, this is your second time. Second time being yourself right in front of the toilet. What is your problem? <laughs> I just realized that it's funny because in the next three cheese we had the same career 
in the, like in this one, these are the two let's plays on the channel, and both in both of them we have the educational career track. Someone made chili. Thank you, whoever was that. You are the real OG, taking care of the others. Poor uh, Saiba doesn't seem to be recovering from his food poisoning. Did I say food or food? I don't know. Look, I want you to date. What do I have to... I know. I know what I have to do. And I'm gonna do that. Oh no! <laughs> she had a bladder failure. See, this is not your aspiration. It is. All of their aspiration changed into grow up. I do feel like my game is gonna blow up, to be honest, but... Hey guys, Future Claw here. I realized after I stopped recording the episode that the aspiration changes were because of the midlife crisis, but I went into a full panic attack because of it, because I thought that my game got corrupted, but it didn't. I just um, didn't realize that it would change their aspiration into grow up, but actually it makes a lot of sense. So back to the video. Why did this happen? At the beginning they all had nice, their own aspirations and all of a sudden all of them became grow up. Okay, I think I will leave this episode here. I think we had enough excitement in this episode. I, I think I'm gonna have to fix a few things with these aspiration things. But other than that, I think we did kind of good. We had a few aspiration failures, which is not good. But yeah, I think that's part of the challenge. But no one died and that's our main goal. No one can die. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments what do you think also about the modifications in the challenge. I would really like to hear your opinions. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.